The topic of today's discussion is the need for the built environment to get to net zero emissions sooner rather than later. Joining me today is Bruce Precious. Bruce is widely respected for his achievements in the built environment sector to transform how the property industry responds to the most significant sustainability challenges. I think there's I think it's justified that the that the built environment uh, moves much more quickly. Rather than casting out these long-term scenarios for many sectors of our economy, the question should be today, why not net zero today? If not, why not? Explain why not. Um, because get around. Yeah, for the built environment, if we take the operational emissions component of built environment, it's about reaching that uh, point of having efficient buildings that run on renewable energy. Well, we can do both those things today. So why not do it today? So imagine walking down uh, Pitt Street or George Street in the city and 60% of the buildings around you are part of the Better Building Partnership. They've all committed to net zero uh, 2030 or before. So we already have uh, through the Neighbours process, Climate Active Certification, there's more than 30 buildings already certified as net zero now. Uh, and there's more, more uh, that have been certified through the Green Building Council um, process as well. So it's a very rapidly growing certification space that is a great demonstration project, I think, to the broader community that just shows that this is this is something that we can do today, immediately. 